The following film reel is an account of the tragedy which befell a group of seven puppeteers and the host of a late night 1970s Halloween special entitled Screamies. This incident would result in more disappearances of children over the years, all from families that were present or participated in the live taping of the show you are about to see. This tragedy remains one of the most mysterious and macabre unsolved crimes in the annals of American history. And yet the devastation continues, with more disappearances linked back to whatever befell the performers and audience on that gloomy October Eve. Most are presumed dead, but had they lived very, very long lives, they could not have expected nor wished to face whatever force lurked in the shadows and behind the curtain. For all who watch, now carry the mark, and into nightfall they tumble forever. Welcome. Thank you for being here today. What you are about to see is a presentation of evidence in the Screamies case file. This file contains considerable information on our person of interest responsible for the incident at Studio 1031, resulting in the destruction by fire of the entire building. The following information is to be considered classified. Shut eye in a coffin that doesn't support your back. <laughs> oh, hello, kids. Good evening. Welcome to Screamies. I'm Vincent Castle, your host. My question is simple. Are you ready to be terrified? To have your spine tingled? To have your hair stand up? To feel as if you stuck your finger in a socket? Oh, lots of applause for, uh, of course, Duncan the Pumpkin. Uh, How are you, my friend? Hello, I'm terrified. How are you? Well, you look gorgeous. <laughs> uh, how are you feeling, uh, Duncan? Oh, you know, just pleasantly divide. <laughs> <laughs> I have one question for you. What does a pumpkin do for fun? Uh, well, that's very general. Yeah, I have a specific answer. Uh, um, bungee gorge jumping. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like that, but I can't say I'm an adrenaline seeker. I uh, t I prefer, you know, solitaire and knitting. Oh, it sounds like some friends that I have. Uh, do you know uh, what's worse than dolphins in the country? No. Sharks in the city! <laughs> Enjoy, kids. No, already we're having technical difficulties. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. I'm Mark Finley. And I'm Mark Flipley. Oh, <coughs> excuse oh. me. I had, a, I, had a, I had a little fish in my throat. Oh, <laughs> sounds good, though. I am it very was, hungry. It was quite good, let mm -hmm. me tell you, Martin. 
Oh. Very good. Oh. But for now, we are here to perform our two-man show. We are. Uh, but um, we're still warming up a little bit, if yeah, that's okay. You, you guys are all... Not that we're not happy you're all here. It's so good no. to see all of you. No, you all look delicious. No. He means handsome. Uh, <laughs> I love not, to laugh. Not, I, I, I not comedy. Del- not delicious. They're not. They're. <laughs> it they're was our a joke. Audience. I was kidding. Yes. Uh, so funny. Uh, Deliciously attractive. Yes, we're all very happy you're here, but we do have to warm up a little before we perform. Mm-hmm. So we hope you'll indulge us while uh, we play a few warm-up games. Yeah. Uh, Want to play the word game? Oh, yes. I love the word game. Okay. So we're going to say one, two, three, and then try to say the same word at the same time. Uh-huh. It's so cool. Okay. Ready? Okay. Look. Lock in. Look okay. In I'm connected eyes. with you. All right. Ready? Okay. One, one two, two, three. three. Flood. Flood. What did you say? I said flower. What did you say? I said blood. Oh. Okay, uh, flower. Let's try it again. Blood. Let's okay, try it. Flower, one more time. blood. What Ready? do they have in common? One, one two, two, three. three. Color. Bloody, Bloody and, and color. color. Okay, I feel like you're really leaning into a theme here. I Martin. I don't see what you mean. I think that I think remember we, we talked about this. Remember? Oh. We weren't going to talk about the blood. Okay. Remember? Sorry. Trying uh, to keep this lighthearted for the kids. <laughs> for all the kids that we're not going to eat. Remember? Uh-huh. uh-huh. We're not going to eat. Okay. No, no, no. Never Should would we try I again? Ever. Um, yes. Let's go one more. Okay. So sorry I about that, everyone. I think we're going to do it this okay, time. Okay. Ready? We'll, okay. One, one two, two, three. three. River of blood that is composed of the blood of the children that are in the audience Martin! that we will soon consume. No! It's just, first of all, it's supposed to be one word, Martin. I. You're totally defeating the purpose of the game. Uh, and also, we're not telling them that we're going to eat them because we're not going to eat them. I, None I, of them. We're, no. You're just here for a show, a happy, fun <sighs> show. Right, Martin? Despite how delicious you all look, Martin, I never would eat you. Get it together, Martin. <laughs> well, once again, I love comedy. I right. love to laugh. So, so funny. Okay, I want to try one more time. Are you ready? Okay. Clear your mind. Of okay. all of these thoughts. I am here with you. L- okay, ready? One, two, two three. Science. Blood bath. Oh, my God. Martin. What? Martin. What? It's, it's different. No, it's not at all different. It's just shorter. That's all. I can see you're scared. Don't worry. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. I want to introduce you to a good friend. A friend who is also in my imagination. Have you ever collected anything? I collect art. I collect art and I want to introduce you to a piece of it. Merva Graves! (laughs) How are you, my dear? Hello, Vincent. <laughs> you look uh, appalling since your last surgery. You're missing a stitch. <laughs> well, I had to get fresh ones, you know, after the incident. <laughs> uh, apparently, you, uh, you're ready to deliver some yucks for us this evening. That's right. Vincent, do you know what my favorite day of the week is? Uh, what's that? Fright day. Thank Your jokes you. are as funny as an extended stay at the Bates Motel. <laughs> hey, Vincent. I've got a joke for you. Knock, knock. Uh, who, who is there? Figs. Figs who? Figs your cape. You look like a bum. <laughs> you cruel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you talk so hard, Thank Duncan. you, Duncan. <laughs> You know, your jokes, uh, they're they're as funny as when my agent told me that I was talented and I worked in food service for the next 45 years. (laughs) She wasn't wrong about that. That's all you got for me, kids? It's time for some hellos. Hello to Krill, Tater, Nicholas, Susan, Saturn. What kind of a name is that? Arcast, don't be an outcast. Moni, Melos, Dan G, Angel? I don't think so. Not on Halloween. Bearcat Girl, Yuck, Jakku, Proximity, and Lone Bland Wolf. You get time for one more joke before we go to our next segment. 
<laughs> I got a dog. Guess what kind of dog it is? What kind? A bloodhound! <laughs> it was as funny as the time I lost my shirt in Vegas. Well, literally, I lost my shirt. I was going around the strip naked. <laughs> All right, Ray, what's next? This is a shoddy operation. Would you like me to continue to do bad jokes? Or would you like something really scary? Cut two! Something really scary! <laughs> Hello, children. I'm Cecilio, but you can call me Leo. Today, I believe we're feeding Fluffy. Hello, a little later. For now, I'd like to tell you a joke. Why are the gates on the cemeteries? People are dying to get in. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I thought we'd like to chat a little bit. Let's talk about fear. What are you, dear audience, afraid of? Are you afraid of strangers? Are you afraid of sponges? Sharks? Perhaps you're afraid of the dark. Whatever it is that you're afraid of, know that that fear is what makes you alive. <laughs> Something to note about the Screamies Halloween special. There seems to be a focus on phobias and fears. The characters ask questions of the children. I will share one of those questions with you now. When darkness falls and you are alone, what is it that you fear? What is your worst fear? This information is what our suspect wants. Those who provide this information will be marked for collection. Peace to shine in half the time with Joy. Joy, the wonderful new lotion soft liquid detergent. In Joy, you get a special grease cutting ingredient that no soap, no powder detergent, no dishwashing product of any other kind can give you. You never in all your dishwashing life saw grease cutting to beat this. And your hands feel so good in Joy's lotion soft suds. Look, no specks or soap scum. And you save all that wiping time. Yes, dishes go from grease to shine in half the time with Joy. Because there's so much grease cutting power in Joy, you'll find one bottle washes almost as many dishes as two large boxes of soap powders. That's economy your eye can measure. So do your dishes with Joy. Yes! Yeah. Joy, joy in a bottle, beats anything in a box. About time you cut back to me. <laughs> you want to know about something that really takes dedication? <laughs> a little friend of ours gets so terrified when he does this that he needs his daddy bear. <laughs> It's time. It's time to feed Fluffy. <laughs> Good.
Good evening, audience. Most of you said you're afraid of me. But you know what I'm afraid of? Feeding time. Hungry. Yes, I know, Fluffy. What are you hungry for? Food. What kind of food? Ah, shoulder. Pork shoulder? No! Ah, legs. Uh, turkey legs? No! Ears. Ears of corn? No! Hungry! How about blood? Yes, blood. Blood. Good blood. Okay. Uh, let us refer to the chef. Chef! Chef? Dinner, Chef. Fluffy. Chef. Bon appetit. You know, I have a, uh, I have a seven-year-old at home, and he's able to do a few things. One is feed himself. The other is to feed his pet snake. Fluffy, you're a disappointment. Do you not agree, Constance? I agree completely. You know what's scarier than a, a pumpkin that talks? What makes this show run? Money! Money makes the world go round! Here's a commercial that helps! For a shampoo, creamy rich, like the most expensive facial creams, buy Shasta, softest of the cream shampoos. If you want oceans of luxury lather, buy Shasta with the creamiest lather of all. For hair that's far, far softer, shining with natural color, buy Shasta. So many reasons to choose Shasta. Plus, one more, Shasta's exciting new beauty bargain. Now, buy 89 cent Shasta and get the generous 29 cent jar free. So look for Shasta wherever you buy cosmetics. Get two generous jars in this Shasta special. Buy the large 89 cent jar, get the 29 cent jar free. You save with Shasta, year's most exciting two-for-one beauty bargain. Buy Shasta, softest of the cream shampoos. Thank you for having me, Fashion Magazine, for 733 questions. Squawk, I'm here too. Oh, <laughs> first question, who is this? This is Feather Boa. Squawk, hello. 
Oh, how did I meet Feather Boa? Well, it's a long story. We I was made. <laughs> well, I was working this fashion show. Modeling, working, modeling. I'm lucky in that I get to do my passion for a living. Well, we ended up losing a couple models that night. And I built Feather Boa from their remains. Squawk, my teeth are their fingers. Mm. <laughs> yes, I feel very lucky in that way too. Oh, how long have I known Feather Boa? Well, I think it's been about a thousand years. Squawk, a thousand and six. <laughs> yes, we, we haven't died yet. <laughs> oh. oh, what's my skincare routine? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, every morning I uh, take some fresh blood and do a nice uh, a little cleanser with it. Um, I also exfoliate with uh, dead skin cells from dead people's skin. Essence of children! Mm -hmm. Oh, what's my scent, my signature scent? Oh, <laughs> Feather Boa, I think you know this. Squawk, literal baby's <laughs> breath. <laughs> oh, I might come out with a line sometime. Uh, my own business. Oh, what is my favorite part of the day? Well, I love breakfast. Feather Boa and I will just find a creature outside our house. and Any creature. Any creature. Big, small, living dead. Usually living. Usually living. Honestly, I love fresh. Oh, let's see. What's the best advice that I've ever gotten? Be yourself. What's Unless you can wear the skin of another. <laughs> I think that's a great note to end on. I'd like to end the interview early. It's been a pleasure. Squawk, back to your coffin now. Pay close attention to Sepilio, the ventriloquist dummy. As you know at this point, Mr. Arthurs, the performer who plays this character, was not on set and is presumed to be dead. Therefore, the person behind the curtain doing the voice of the dummy is a person of interest. I think we should have a contest to see who's most incompetent on this damn set. Since when it does a dummy not talk for crying out loud? It's scary for the first three seconds and then, am I right, Duncan? You're right. I do say I was a little spooked, but then I was waiting and then nothing happened. But then I waited some more and then nothing happened. But then I waited and I held my breath like this. <laughs> That's exactly what I did, uh, waiting for my first residuals check from Martians from space. 25 years later, I got $2. By the way, I'm partaking of my Halloween candy early. Would you like a sip? <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay. Thank you. Oh. Hey, that's 
so what is that? Uh, it'll make your brains reappear. <laughs> well, that's good. I got mine all scooped out when I was carved. Yeah. I have noticed that you have very nice angles on that nose and on your eyes. It's almost like somebody carved you to perfection. Oh. You, you're gorgeous. <laughs> oh, Vincent, you nut. Thank you very much. My mom said the same thing before she rotted. <laughs> you know, you're actually funny. You're funnier than that painting I was talking to. You know, in 1954, when I stood in the actor's equity line at 5 a.m. waiting for a job, I... St <laughs> wrong show. Uh, I, I uh, could not hold your suspense any longer than I should. Will you please welcome the mysterious stylings of Watson? A friend. It's me, Vincent. I'm taking over this time slot. <laughs> You've been tapping the sauce a little too hard. You forgot that I was next. <sighs> Vincent, he should know better than to drink as a professional on this program. Welcome... Max. Welcome to Painted Corner, where you can't leave until the paint is dry. <laughs> What's your favorite fruit? Boo berries or boo nanas? <laughs> Do you know I... I went to the movies with a skeleton. I couldn't find any body to go with. <laughs> Which song do you think vampires hate more? You are my sunshine? Or walking on sunshine. <laughs> I cooked dinner last night. Do you know what I made? Spook Getty. <laughs> I think I'm going to grow a vegetable garden. Which do you think you'd like better? Ghost peppers or zombies? <laughs> Oh, 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 I'm so thirsty. I sure could use some ghoulade. <laughs> oh, goodness. You know, my horoscope told me not to leave the house today. Good thing I'm a possessed painting. I can't go anywhere. <laughs> but you can. Let's go see what's happening with Watson and Graham. <laughs> Oh, hello, good evening. <laughs> good evening. Lovely night, isn't it? Quite. I, uh, I don't see many folks around here at this hour. Yes, well, you know, the witching hour is, uh, not quite the same for most, but I do enjoy a good midnight constitutional, don't you? I certainly do. In fact, it's when I get my, um, my favorite midnight snacks. Do you want to know what those are? Uh, of course. Squirrels, rats, and owls! <laughs> did you say owls? Why, yes, I did. Do you like owls? Well, to be... Blah, blah, you knock that snack, blah, Beg your pardon. That was, um, uh, my dear lady, I have a confession. I am not all human. You see, I am possessed. <gasps> yes. Well, I kind of know the feeling. You see, I'm a vampire. Oh, so you are. Grandma. What large teeth you have! <laughs> I've heard that one before. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I'm so sorry. <gasps> oh, a rat! <laughs> mm. oh. oh, that's lovely. Uh. <laughs> so, how did you become a vampire? Oh, that's a long story, you know, handsome man. Yes. Late nights. Oh, 
whiskey or two. Ooh, I say. <laughs> Do you like whiskey? I partake every once in a while, sure. Well, When I... the mood splashes like nip nap yap yap Sorry about that. That's quite all right. Well, I have plenty back at my flat, as I do not sip the alcohol anymore. Are you inviting me in? I say, you know what it's like to feel alone and isolated and scary to people on the street. I it do. might be nice to connect by the fire. I would love that. Gah, I haven't said those words in so long. I would love that. However, tonight is a most unfortunate meeting. I'm on my way to a party, you see. A party? Yes, hmm. a steak dinner with my good friend, Van Helsing. <gasps> Van Helsing? We know at this point that the fire had spread below ground and into the basement. The alarms here, here, and here. These alarms trigger at a fire-specific temperature when the air to the ceiling reaches 155 to 165 degrees. Why they did not trigger, we suppose that they may have been tampered with. The smoke had not yet reached into the studio. This is because the old fog machines, incense, and smoke generators made it uh, possible that the smoke and the smells were masked for some time. So the show continued on, unaware that the blaze was spreading below them. And that's what it's like to be evicted. <laughs> it's not funny for crying <laughs> out loud. I'm Oh, oh, we're back, are we? Because for the last 20 minutes, I don't know about you, Duncan, I've been looking for every pumpkin on, on Crazy Street, and they're all gone. Have you noticed? Um, uh, no. But uh, then again, I don't have much movement. I don't have my neck, so I kind of just look straight ahead, smile, and take one day at a time. I do the same. But do you know how scary it is to be alone? even when there are people in the room? Have you ever felt the desperation in your soul, children? It's chilly, isn't it? At night, when you look out that window and there are no parents and no aunts and uncles and friends, and even if there are, they, they say, we sort of love you. It's not easy. When I was in rehab for 400 years, I learned some hard lessons. You have to pull yourself up by your fangs, people! It's not easy. You put a little spit in your hair and a, a little red cape on and you can have a show too. Where the puppets don't exist, look at this crap! Do you know that this stuff isn't at all scary? What's scary is my career! Let's go to commercial! wonderful thing maker. It makes creepy crawlers, spiders, lizards, snakes, dragonflies. Make them yourself with this nice plastic goop. Choose a mold, pour in the goop, heat it, and presto change -o. You've got bugs. Squiggly, squirty bugs. They feel so soft and natural. You get four different colors of goop and special paints. Make charming lizard pins or spider rings. You can collect them or 
spread them around. After all, they are fun for the entire family. <laughs> Get Mattel's new thing maker with creepy crawlers. You can tell it's Mattel. It's swell. Well, hello, boy. Now, what do you say? Let's make with the popcorn right away. Too much trouble and bother. Yes, indeed. No, man. Heat's all you need. You need more than heat, boy. According to Hoyle, you need popcorn, salt, butter, and oil, and a frying pan, or to be completely proper, you ought to have a popper. I dig it. You ain't a hip, old man, to easy pop pop in its own pan. You mean easy pop popped in its own pan? Now you're swinging, daddy. Crazy man. Why don't you make it with me to the grocery shop? We'll both take a pan of this easy pop. The pop now, uh, give it the heat bed. That's the wildest. Easy pops too much, the neatest, the mildest. We'll all have a gallon in just about a minute. Popcorn, salt, and oil, and everything in it. What do you know? No muss, no fuss. There's Easy Pop popcorn for all of us. Easy Pop, man, that's real popcorn. no abuse. I never lifted a hand. She was violent towards me. I'll call you back. Hello. Just working out the kinks in my relationships. Have you ever had an experience? Well, Duncan. Duncan's gone as well. Abandoned by a gourd. Children, have you ever had the feeling that when you're alone, you're not as alone as you might think? <laughs> There's possibilities. If you dig in the graveyard of your soul, you can find what you need. You just gotta find something beyond greed. Oh, I think there's a large bat in front of the camera. When you don't have friends, and you don't have pumpkins, and you don't have puppets, you got J and B. <laughs> Dig down deep, forget lessons about rehab, remember your history, it can be free. Take a little swig, remember you got talent, and on the back end you'll hallucinate. It's a good vintage salted caramel. Kids, I'd love to stick around, but I'm going to get some professional help. Thank you for joining me on Screamies. Ray, I'm taking out the cast and crew. Whatever you want to do. Good night. Oh, we've got some chat. I'll stick around. I've got plenty of time for friends. I'm saying hello to a blank screen. Oh, don't go. Chat said, don't go! I think we should find a moment to go to something a little more substantial than my raves and rants. But there are no puppets in the studio. There are no Duncans. There are no pumpkins. And there are no more stories, children. <laughs> for sharing your soul and letting me bear mine. It's not easy to be naked on camera. I love you all. May you prosper this Halloween season. And whatever you're going to be, under that mask, under that cape, be yourself. It's the scariest thing in town. R.I.P. Hold that. Right there. That is our suspect. We have seen this man again in relation to other missing persons and two FBI agents who went missing in the woods near the now demolished theater. This is our man.
They believed that evil waited inside the walls of homes made of wattle and clay. As we enter into the month of Halloween, we enter the time in which our suspect hunts without consequence. In a time of masks and boogeymen and children out for candy, he can move undetected and collect at will. We know this is the time of that forgotten ritual and that he is out there waiting. It is October. It is his time. Keep watch. We're counting on you. Our national anthem. Thank you.